Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sumit and here I'm with my new video in Salesforce Flow series. So recently Salesforce has released an update and in that update Salesforce released, uh, Salesforce added a new functionality in, in the flows, in the lightning flows and that is called data transform. So in this video, I will be going to show you that how can we use that element? What's the benefit of using that element uh, using like in within lightning flows? What's the advantage of using that element? So let's begin today's video. If any one of you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel, do subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get the updates on the latest videos. So let me tell you the concept of uh, data transform element. What's the purpose of that? My requirement is I just want to take a backup of my records. And in order to do that, we have two approach. Number one, we can create a flow. And in that flow, like this kind of flow we can create. And in this flow, we can select the record. And whatever record we have selected, we can, with the help of a loop, in a data flow, we can move those records from one object to another object. So that's the first, that's the traditional way we used to do in a flow. But the problem with that option, the, the problem with that concept is that we need to do a lot of, uh, we have to do a lot of functionality. We have to implement a lot of functionality in a flow. And sometimes the flow become complex because the number of steps get increases. So in order to reduce the number of steps, in order to make the process simple, Salesforce launched, Salesforce introduced the transform functionality, data transform functionality that is called transform. But it's in a beta version, but still it's in a use and it's working perfectly fine. So first of all, let me show you whether that really works or not. So as you can see, this is the data, this is the screen flow element which I have designed and created. This is the screen flow. And this flow will will be this in this flow. I will be using the data flow element. So, and the scenario here is once a record, uh, once we uh, once we select a list of records. So, for example, we have an object called account and account backup. And right now, in account backups, we do not have any records. It's a blank object. Now, how do I have clone this object? How do I have add the fields into this object? So, for this, you can watch my previous video. In that, I have explained how to clone an object in Salesforce. I will share the description. I will share the link in the description below. You can go through that. So here, as you can see, right now I don't have any records in account backup objects, a blank object. I select three records from the list, and I click on backup records. When I click on this button, I got a confirmation message: record cloned successfully. And if I'll get back to my account of account backup object, and when I refresh, you can see the three records cloned successfully here. Now, how I have done that, how to create, how to perform this operation by using a flow, and how to use a data transform element in a flow, let's have a look. So I'm going to explain this from the scratch. So let me deactivate this because right now it's working. So I just deactivate that. I'm going to share it. I'm going to explain this from the scratch. So the process is the method is what we have to do. First of all, we will be going to create a new custom flow. So I click on flow and it will open a flow builder for us. And in this flow builder, select screen flow. Reason being, we just wanted to provide a screen to the user. So I click screen flow, click on screen flow. And the very first step is I'm going to get the records from the user. As I just sorry, not from the user. I just want to fetch, I just want to get all the records from the object. So I click here and click on get records. So I just want, I say get records from account. Object will be account object. Any condition? Uh, no, I don't want to add any condition. I want to fetch all the records, all the records, and no sorting, nothing. And let me save this flow. I just write here flow to backup 
account records. That's the flow name. Let me save this. So this element is going to retrieve or this element is going to fetch all the records from the account object without any condition. Next step, I need to display a screen. I need to create a screen flow, basic screen element. And on that screen element, I'm going to display all the records which we have retrieved in the previous step. So I just write account records. Configure header. I don't want to show any header. I mean, in footer also, I don't want to hide. And I just hide and pause. And the custom one, I just say customize that backup records. And here I'm going to display the data table. And the data table I labeled as the data table I label as account. Uh, let's say account underscore records underscore list and label as list of accounts and use the label as table title. We have to configure the data source. So the collection is account from get records from account object or the get uh, collection. If you want to add a search bar, you can add it. So it will give you a search bar. It will give you a search bar. Configure rows. Uh, leave it as multiple because we just want, we would like to select multiple records. Columns, we have to add columns. So I just want to add the columns one by one. So first I want to add an account name and custom label. I label this as account name and done. Next column, I would like to display phone and custom label as account phone. Then type that is account type then industry so it depends on you what all columns you would like to display i just want to display only four columns account name account phone account type and account industry and click on done so let's save this and test this much now when i click on run you can see it will list, it will show me all, it will display all the records to me. Whatever accounts are available, I display all the accounts to me. And I can select, I can make selection. Now we have to perform the next step that once we select the records and click on backup record button. So what the, uh, it should backup, uh, you can say it should clone these records, the selected records into this account backup record. And let me do one more thing. I'll just delete these records so that we can just quickly verify whether the records uh, get cloned or not. So let I have removed these records. Now let's get back. Let me close this. Now it's time to use the element which has been introduced by Salesforce, and that is called transform. Transform data. So transform your source data into a new target data set and uses new format structures for values. I click on transform beta and I label this as account transform account transform element here we have to select the source data now this time my source data will be the selected one not the get records from account because in the get record it will uh, it, it will display all the records but we would like to move only the selected one so the, when you click on source data and click on resources from here scroll down and you can see the account record list that's a data table and from this data table we have the first selected record or i just say this the selected record i say only the selected one okay so i just click selected one and the target data will be our account backup the back account backup object click here record allow multiple values because we would like to pass the collection of records we may select one or multiple records so i would like to pass uh, so therefore i just like this one if you will be passing only one record, if you want to clone only one record at a time, so then you don't have to check this, but I would like to clone multiple records. So therefore I check this option and the object name is account backup option. Done. Now it's time to map the fields. That's why it is called as data mapping. So how do we do the mapping? This account number is mapped with account number. Sorry, this is account name. So I just, with account number and 
we can we can remove this yes so i have removed that i clear that i just basically i clear that let's do it again so be very careful while mapping the fields so account number will be mapped with account number annual revenue is going to map with annual revenue billing city is going to map with billing city billing street is going to map with billing street and industry i would like to map with industry only so it's not necessary that we, we should map all the fields but it depends on the requirement account name is going to map with the account name which is somewhere here and uh, that is account name basically this account name is a custom one so i would like to map this name actually account name it will be mapped with account name and the phone number we map with phone phone rating map with rating rating and the type map with type here type map with the type so as you can see i have mapped the fields successfully billing country is left let me map with billing country so once the once all the mapping is done you have to save this and close this transform after the transformation after the day after this transform element executes successfully we just want to display we just wanted to uh, display the message but before displaying the message confirmation message we have to move the records from one object to another we have to add the records into account backup so therefore i click on add elements and create record element and here label it as create account backup records we would like to multiple records to create and the collection now in this collection we are not going to use the get record from element we'll be going to add the account transform element this account transform element because this account transform element will be mapping so that's all we have to do because if we instead of this if we select account from get account then we might have to map the fields manually so I just select account transform element. That's the beta one, which is the, the one which we added. And save this and close. Uh, we can edit this element and check it. Check the name one more time. That the name is account transform element. That's the name. Close that. And once it is done successfully, we have to I just uh, we have to display a message. So success message, success or failure. So I just write here confirm or display. final screen and i don't want to show header and in footer also i want to hide and read it and just a label just a label and here final text and i just write record or account the selected record selected account records clone successfully and click on done save this and let's test it so i click on run i select record one two and let's say submit test or yeah instead of this let's i clone i just copy i just select this one grand hotel and resort and pyramid construction i select three records so we can select all records or we can select a uh, few records so i select three records only click on backup record and i got a confirmation message selected account record clone successfully let's check it out i'll uh, get back to the account backup object refresh and you can see the three records cloned successfully into account backup. So like this way, by using the data 
transform element, we can easily clone the record, easily backup records. So this data transform element will be a useful element in Salesforce flows. And we can use this in uh, different, uh, we can use this in different requirements. Right now I have used this as a screen flow. We can use this transform element in automations also in a, rec in a record trigger flow also in many different ways. So that's all in this video. If you have any questions, you can write to us. If you have any requirements on Salesforce training, you can reach out to us on www.aitech1.com or you can, con you can contact us on the given numbers. That's all in this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.